in steeper and more mountainous terrain. Special consideration is necessary. If the speed of the vehicle exceeds the upper limit on a downgrade, the driver must intervene, especially if an engine overspeed condition might occur by applying service brakes. It is recommended to reduce speed to one that can be managed solely by the powertrain and then reset cruise control. You can refer to our online DT12 overspeed protection videos for more detail on this topic. If the cruise control is set at 60 miles per hour and you're approaching a grade with a recommended descent speed of 25 miles per hour, you should reduce the speed well in advance, either by decreasing the set cruise speed with the steering wheel controls or slowing down with the service brakes and resetting cruise. IPM does not know to reset your cruise because of the impending grade. It is the responsibility of the driver to set the appropriate speed in advance. In this specific example, it is recommended to set 20 miles per hour since IPM allows the speed to increase to 25 miles per hour. This is especially true if the vehicle speed could not be maintained on a steep uphill grade because the vehicle will continue to throttle back to the original set speed even on the downhill side, depending on the grade and conditions. IPM knows if it is more efficient to e-coast or simply coast. Coasting or engine braking requires no fuel, while e-coasting requires a small amount of fuel to keep the engine idling. You can only gain the fuel benefits of IPM if you're actively using cruise control as much as possible and when practical. If the vehicle enters one of the IPM modes of predictive acceleration, crest or dip coast, and the driver intervenes by applying throttle, engine or service brakes, the opportunity for fuel efficiency gain is lost. If your vehicle is equipped with a collision mitigation system and adaptive cruise control, ACC, which will maintain a set following distance behind a forward vehicle, IPM predictive acceleration and dip coasting will not be possible. The driver must provide enough distance to allow IPM to fluctuate vehicle speed without being overridden by adaptive cruise control. Remember that the driver is ultimately responsible for the safety of the tractor trailer and establishing the proper speed for the conditions and terrain.